Hi, I'm Peter Hannah from Content with Media, and we're here at a very noisy Highways, busy Highways UK show today. And I've managed to grab Neil from Get Mapping uh, after a presentation he's done on guess what, mapping and surveying. Yeah. Uh, but Neil, you've you, you introduced us to huge scale mapping, and, and tell me a little bit yeah. about what's all about and how it's changing the industry. Yeah, I mean, Get Mapping originally collected um, aerial photography, vertical aerial photography for the whole of Great Britain 20 years ago. Wow. So we were the first company to collect that, called the Millennium Map, and we've been updating that map ever since. Um, and more recently, we got into mobile mapping using the Leica Ultimate Sensors. Um, you know, we first embarked on collecting something like six and a half thousand line kilometres of data within Greater London. So again, that hadn't been done on that scale before. With that sort of stuff, you're talking about a whole city area there. You're talking yeah, about yeah. Uh, collecting data that, that can be used by huge amounts of different organisations to map where things can, uh, should be or can be placed or yeah. how, to, how to, yeah. to create the cities of the future there. Tell me, how yeah. are people using yeah. that kind of level of data? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, we, we collected huge amounts of point cloud data. Right. So once we've collected that, um, especially using the ultimate sensor and the level of accuracy, we can then extract pretty much any feature from that. So whether it's yellow lines or car parking signs or street assets, street furniture. So it can then be used almost really as a sort of topo survey across many sort of market sectors. So point cloud data itself now, however it's collected, is being used right across the sort of geospatial industry. Well I think what's interesting about that and where where it all comes to pass is we've seen cities like Tampere in Finland for example completely yeah. map its whole um, city and and that's being used by everyone yes. not yeah. just people yeah. to construct and build and, no, exactly. and that's where yeah. you're heading because yeah. Just so that people know, a point cloud is 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 a is a little point in a, in a, in the whole area that we're talking about. And when you're mapping this kind of level of six thousand kilometres of, yeah. of space, yeah, yeah. What, how many millions or billions of point clouds are we um, getting? That is quite a few terabytes. Normally, we deal with that, and then we get a sort of shopping list from the client to say, "Can you extract these amount of features?" Yep road markings etc 20 or 30 features we will then extract them for them deal deal with all that pain of the extraction yeah. and then deliver it to them in a sort of CAD or GIS friendly format for them to use so what we're talking about is Neil and his team at get mapping have been working very hard to get all of this data it is then accessible yeah. because it's yeah. been captured properly using some of the Leica systems like this you see behind me and then we can use that data to help everybody yeah. within a community, within yeah, the exactly, environment. Yeah. And yeah. we can actually look at ways in which engineers and, and, and future visionists can take this data and create yeah. the spaces, the communities yeah. that we want for the future. So, yeah, I Neil, mean, I think yeah. what I've got to say is thanks for mapping. Yeah. And you're probably <laughs> going to get doing some more mapping. Yes, yeah. And um, welcome yeah. back to that. Thanks very much for talking today and yeah. talking to me. And uh, we'll see okay. you again. Thanks, Peter. Thanks Cheers. very much. All right.